Hi, I am going to show you the basic control operation on your standard subcompact tractor backhoe. And this uh, video is for those who are inexperienced or just uh, new to using a backhoe. Um, I'm going to be very basic, very plain spoken and simple, and I'm even going to show pictures. This is a Kubota, it's a 7800. The backhoe is a model BL4690, and this is the factory backhoe. So before we go any farther, I'll just give you a real quick overview of some of the major components. So you've got your operator station here, then you've got your seat, you've got your control panel, and then on each side of the operator station, you've got these uh, long arms, they're stabilizers, and they've got feet. You'll lower these so they can plant into the ground. So here you have the main boom, which attaches to the dipper stick. Uh, there's a bucket curl cylinder right above it. And then finally, the 16-inch toothed bucket. Now, inside the operator station, you'll see these two horizontal levers. And these control the stabilizers. These will raise it and they'll lower the stabilizers when you're getting set up. I should mention, this is a, a three-point... Uh, this is a, a PTO operated backhoe. Runs off, uh, it's three point attached, but it will not build up any hydraulic pressure unless the PTO shaft is engaged in spinning. So after this, you've got your uh, two vertical joystick levers. Now, even an experienced backhoe operator might look at this picture here and get a little confused by what exactly each picture. Uh, what function these pictures are showing. So I'll, I'll give you some uh, more simpler or easier look at um, diagrams and hopefully that will help you figure it out. So when you're setting these stabilizer bars uh, it's important that you get the weight of the back of the tractor on these stabilizer bars. So you're going to set them into the ground enough that you're going to bring the back you're going to put most of the weight of the tractor onto the stabilizer bars and you're going to actually lift the rear of this tractor not off the ground you want the tires to still maintain a little contact but you're going to lift the back of the tractor up also on the front now this has a tooth bucket so what I would do is I would place the bucket vertically into the ground just enough to lift the front end of the tractor take the weight off the tires will still have a little contact. Uh, I'm on a slope here, so what I'm telling you to do is on even ground. If you're, if you're on flat ground, you're going to stick the bucket vertically into the ground. If you're on a slope like this, what you should do is lay your bucket down uh, horizontally so that, uh, so that the weight of the bucket is flat on the ground.